Miss I'm already know everything baby know from a bond man a real real rebel yo before we get started, just to let you know that we're sponsored by Avery's Beauty Concepts, or Avery's Boutique, and located also... Located at 11, 111 B, Malines Road. There we go, thanks for that save iron. Also, Sharp Cut Barbers, located at... Nine Brown Shop Square. Big up to Steve. So, with no intention to abandon his established career and reputation as a globetrotting reggae and dub selector, our next guest is ready to take his musical ambitions to another level. Bless up in the building, you hardcore people. Play yes, <laughs> re- that's oh, straight boy. from the greener. <laughs> uh, I acknowledge my tricks. sources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re- that's straight from the greener. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bless Welcome up, hardcore. Oh, go on, oh, go on. So, I mean, I guess it's it's safe to say that you are the reggae. The reggae, the reggae selector. It's yeah. safe to say that. Like any the young upcoming reggae selector where I represent for roots. Yeah. And I represent for culture, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I, I mean you're saying that well already by you said that you kinda you you you, you, you never like the, 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 the explicit nature of music, especially well dance or music would that would correlate to right. Uh, well my start out with dance hall and as a regular you know, party DJ and everything. Mm-hmm. But um, due to, you don't know, my journey with Farai and thing, and my youth born same way, mm-hmm. seeing so, you know, when I work and thing, I never really feel comfortable to play a certain tune around mm-hmm. the youth. And, you know, so that was two of the main reasons why I say, yo, I'm going to leg a certain thing, is it? I'm going to a certain music and thing, so... Yeah. So, what's that journey like? Or, like, what, what, how, which year can you... Um, 2012 was the last year. So that's New- 20, s- seven years ago, basically. Yeah, yeah, New Year's Eve was the last session on my play like that. So you see how Ja just set up everything. Mm-hmm. So, you know, some really did think that was a significant day and time, you know, because at the last day of the year, mm-hmm. seeing and me, I got decided to so, <laughs> <laughs> See, forward. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, a sad man. So, <laughs> it's a laptop, it's not me. <laughs> well, I decide, yeah. say, yo, we're going to let out the music then and take on a new journey, you mm-hmm. see me? And then, no, 2013, no, um, I never played nowhere for three months, mm. seeing, because, you know, I know everywhere, they definitely really facilitate that kind of style with just roots and, you see me? Yeah, so, here in Jamaica? Right. Really? Yeah, then you know, see which party you're going and them are play reggae the whole night. Yeah, none. All right. I but you need to go, you need to go Kingston Dub Club then. Yeah, so dub wise, that's your thing, right? Dub, well, not I'm not really involved in it again. But okay. Oh. Me started. Okay. You get what I mm-hmm. say? Um, I've been there once. So we got some bomb now, three months. And March, me and Protege, my debut was, you know, like a straight roots reggae selector up a um, dub club, same mm-hmm. way. Seeing, and then my did this up once a month. From March to December that year, they seen so. I only play what that 12 minus 3, that a 9, 9 times for the year, you get me? Okay. And I go so bomb now and realize, say, all right, I'm not get enough time for, you know, expose my talent and, you know, really play. Financially, I'm not get nothing, you get me? Mm-hmm. I say, because I might work that, you mm-hmm. get me? So we say, all right, boom, we're going to start our own thing now, Pony Flat. We're more accessible to people. They see me, I'm going to go to Bam and we link up Proto and him link up a bridge named Jason Pantan. And um, we're going to go to Bam and we start Dubwise. And um, yeah, just grow from there. So. Yeah, so, yeah. That, so Dubwise is really for young people who are into reggae, who love reggae but not the traditional one drop or I guess the traditional uh, song that we used to. Everything in a Dubwise, from the okay. old to the new. Okay. And it's not only for the young people, it's for you know everybody but naturally our style more attract the younger people in car you know we have with upon a mission for kind of preserve the thing so mm-hmm. mm. you know for attract the youth them and you know make them feel inspired you know what we are do you get me so yeah and so what was that, different it, about mm-hmm. your style like what was different um, about it really? well well dub club is is a more laid back kind of vibe you know with regards to the mc and mm-hmm. you know just the tempo with the music play and them thing there but 
you know me as a younger you know would um, MC more and kind of vibes up the tune them more mm-hmm. in relation to how dub club kind of do them thing okay yeah so it wasn't like a specific style or of the specific songs that you would play it's just that it was just yeah, a well, youthful vibe or yeah yeah and to you know naturally me would have played some songs because every selector different you understand mm-hmm. every selector playlist different so naturally me i got to draw some tune where you're not gonna hear up a dub club okay and you're gonna hear some tune up a dub club where you're not gonna hear me draw same way so like was it a situation where you completely abandoned like dance hall and hip-hop or you yeah. that drop me in like a bit yeah, something completely wow completely abandoned it you know i yeah. know me kind of you know free up like a bit, free up like a bit you mm-hmm. know me i say we have a thing named selector where we play positive dance all mixed with the reggae car we don't really want to segregate the thing you know mm-hmm. come to a, a a different realization now and a growth within myself and know say you know dance all is really the music we made in love you get mm-hmm. me i say when me i grow up as a youth same way so yeah. we just try to promote positive dance all right now so. is it that you find that it's getting less explicit as as time go on and when uh, not necessarily but there's always you know the clean dance all them same way mm. you know but dance all just get a negative tagline you know because white represent and thing yeah. but you know when i try bring in that vibe there you see me mm. Mm. yeah and i say from all of that you were one of the key players in in the reggae revival mm. yeah so i guess so the whole selector come you know and me just saying yo me nah, I represent for the reggae scene, the reggae vibes, you get mm. what I say? So when certain man now get play elsewhere in our scene, a data the swing, a data carry the swing, you get what I say? From your perspective, it was a conscious thing They say we're gonna create this movement, this thing, in, this in new some, thing. In some ways, you know, yes and in some ways no, because mm. you know, yeah, look for ways to be innovative, creative and different, you get what I say? And um, you know, Protege are the one who really, really start out with the whole, you know, straight reggae vibe as a younger youth and kinda of start create create some waves and them thing they like when them start perform out at Jamnesia and um, you know, every other week them did it Chanain and mm. Nomads and you know, so it start create a wave. This uh, alright, how me and Proto link up was me wanting a dub plate from him. You mm. get what me I say as a just a you know, transition. No man, no? before no? man. Okay. See? Mm-hmm. 2010. My <coughs> first dub play from Plota Jason. Mm. And you know him through a mutual friend same way. And we got so bam now. From we get the dub play, we, we just start link. <coughs> you get me and the link just grow natural and <coughs> we got so bam and do him first mixtape for for promote him in new album, first album, seven year each. Yeah. Mm. Them time they may play dance all the same way and you know as me said that at 2010 and you know I was his DJ from then up till now and at 2012 me stopped play them thing there so me there do them thing there two years same way even on my far right journey same way you know mm. car you don't know money have to make same way and you can't really it is right you know so I just everything at timing you get me yeah so we're ready now. Uh, yeah, that, you know, for plugging new single. <laughs> <laughs> but before we even get to your your journey, you know, the the, yeah. the artist true, career, true. Yeah, man, I, you, know, you, you, you make all the powers as as you mentioned, been a touring DJ for for protege. What uh, you, what would you say is that the highlight uh, even from then till now? What you say the highlight of being touring DJ for for, for protege? All right. Um, the the highlight scene when we got Japan. Mm. As me, as him, as him DJ, we got Japan in a September last year, and that did mad. That did up on a different level. You see me, Japan is a place where I always want to go. Seeing me there with my brother, and you know the vibes up. You get what I say? So we, mm. we do like nine show. So that was definitely a good vibes, and um. Trinidad too, we do a match show at Trinidad same way. I wasn't a DJ theme that time then, but I was a open theme. Mm. Or play in between. Um, I, I don't, I think after him work, I did play. I just did book for the show too, okay. as a DJ, you get me? Mm-hmm. And that did mad same way. Um, Kaya Fest in uh, California, that a Stephen Marley them show. 
that show with the nice too is a big memory in my brain. And um, the third time I got Ethiopia too was very special too because you know, I see the growth from the first and the second time and the third time I go there. You know, Ethiopia is a special place to me, same way. So if you mm. see the people them I relate to me on the level there, it was very special, you get me? As it is to all people on the far right journey. Yeah, I'm, I'm imagining. <laughs> far right? Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. <laughs> so what, what's so special though about like as a DJ mm-hmm. and you go to all these, these places, like can you relate the the experience that you have, like the connection that you have, like most people wouldn't even get mm-hmm. it. Like people just say, oh, you're just a playing music and mm-hmm. you know, it's just singing and, mm-hmm. but to, for people who don't speak the language, mm-hmm. mostly like Japan, I speak really yeah. English and Jamaican. Patois. So yeah, it's, it's a joy to see, you know, people from different cultures, you know, really, you know, I relate to what we are doing and the energy where we are pushing, you know, the message of love where we are sending out to the mm-hmm. world is that kind of really, pull them in same way and you know reggae is a special sound mm-hmm. you get to me i said the, the the music the way how it resonates with the people them mm-hmm. it give them a different vibes than other music you get what me i said so yeah we see people go up on heights and you know people see we out there as you know Mm. How you real. play though, how you select mm-hmm. the right music though, like the mm-hmm. right song, like what you wait on, you wait on a vibe, you, you, you know yeah, people well, love Bob Marley, so you just try to focus on Bob Marley, like how, <laughs> no, how you well, do, how you get to them, connect to them. As we say, you know, we have, a, we have a mission and a job for expose the younger youth them mm-hmm. same way, so you know, we always mix up the vibe, you know, and with any DJ, any DJ know how to read a crowd, mm-hmm. you get what I say, so every show is a different vibe for me still you have some dj you know might do sets or whatever and you know but me like for read the crowd and read the energy of the people and mm-hmm. you know see what them kind of like and naturally you have an idea already mm-hmm. you know where you are gonna play but the timing of when you play what has a big impact on how the people True. react to the music, you get me? Do you think you can go into a dance hall space, a strictly dance hall space? <laughs> yes, and play I like yeah, man, fully ready exact and, and question still connect. Yeah, man, they're not, they're not this is where I come from, yeah. man. Yeah, we'll uh, play strictly reggae, not but reggae. Yeah, man, I, I dance hall where I come from, we know what them like, where mm. I go. I just we mm-hmm. think a little different and a little mm. more commercial. Yeah. You get what me I say? Mm-hmm. And dance hall really work off of popular songs, you get what me mm-hmm. I say? So, from your draw the popular tune, you can't go wrong. And I, I, don't know, I mean, I know why I feel it easier for, for, for select for a, a reggae crowd because everybody under them ganja and is in a, everybody <laughs> no. done a swear in a the no, vibe man, already. No, <laughs> man. Everybody are the same in mm. the sense of how them react to the music. So you can in a dancehall space, same, I mean, a reggae space, same way, and the thing now connect. Mm. Mm. You get what I mean? I said the mood of it, right? It's harder. In a them settings there because you have for real. When they high? No. Oh. <laughs> in a the reggae setting oh. because you, you know them more peculiar, them more picky as to what they want here yeah. or whatever you get me. So yeah. Mm. And so one of the things that's I read that you are like the curator is almost like that's what you do with your your mixtape. So yeah. your reggae aroma. aroma. Mm-hmm. Um the the re- the most recent one is reggae s- oh. I forgot the Rhythm name. Salute. Rhythm yeah. Salute, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's about drawing from new music. You only play new music mostly in that set, or are you just no, are new well, songs? Well, why me get that tagline the mood I assume now is because timing once again. Mm. Seeing when nobody never did a curated the music like that. No. Oh. Because everybody have them own curation okay. style or mm-hmm. whatever. You get me? Every DJ. Mm-hmm. If you want to term it, as curation, you get mm-hmm. what I say? Mm. No, um, I go so bam and I play them on them thing when nobody never really did up, you know, take on to them. So when that same vibe now come for be the vibe, that's when you get labeled as a curator or mm. whatever because you did a see the vision before, you know, it People actually it. Yeah. go up on a higher level. You get what I say? So 
as me say, you know, we're in the link due to being the pro the DJ for protege and mm -hmm. whatever. So we'll get the tune them and yeah, we'll just put out the mix them in you know, at the time, you know, as me say once again, it never was the thing. Mm -hmm. mm. So when it start pick up now. Do you keep a special air open for young yes, artists? Before you are even done, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because me say me yeah. love new talent. Yeah. Mm. You get what I mean? I say. That are my that are why me want boss for help people. Yeah. You get to me and say for help themselves. So I'm gonna say bam now. I work with a new artist named Carbon. No, I don't know that one. No, yeah. so know him though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> look up the one for boss youths. Yeah. Seeing read him salute. Him not really have no tune release yet. Mm -hmm. We're gonna release the next one. It's more like July a dummy did or yeah, it's a dub oh, plate yeah. in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But uh, it will gonna release as a 45. Okay. So, mm -hmm. like, you're going to help him, like, as a producer, what? Produ like what? Management, producer, mm -hmm. just advice, you know, mm -hmm. direction. You get what I say? Because you don't know. Um, 2010, 2019, nine years, my dear own digging, and, you know, we'll, we'll get a different understanding of everything we in our music. You okay. understand? And, you know, due to how me move and how me rest him, that is why the link mesh with me and him so same me. You mm. get to me I say. So um yeah man, we just wanna see new talents rise. Mm. With, with that being said, you're known as one of the preeminent taste makers, you know, reggae. Yeah. Do you ever feel any pressure from that, knowing that people look to you for determine what What's are the next but they stick in a reggae yeah. or the next. Because one of the, buy, one of the thing in a reggae is that you are the first person that play Chronix and Kabaka on radio. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So um, we don't really too feel no pressure because we love music and from we hear new time, we don't know if a song big, if we, if we know if a song bad, you get what I say? So mm -hmm. we don't feel no pressure, just music, we hear it from before it, you hear it. We can't tell if it's a hit from before you hear it or if it's oh. a good song. Or if it's just an album song, or if it's just a. Let's break that down now. Can yeah, you man, can you explain that the difference between people of what's a hit song and a good song and um, what, what, well, what just for album? All right. Sometimes you can know a hit song before it happens, and then sometimes songs surprise you right. mm -hmm. just the same. You mm -hmm. get what I say? So, um, it's kind of hard, you know, but <laughs> when you're here, you can just feel it. It's an energy. You get what yeah. I say? It's an energy. Because so if you ever hear a song and you say, mm, this ain't it, dog. And then, and then after two months while, after, you say, it's a group on you. Yeah. And hear it. So that's what I say. It's hard to tell. Yeah. You get what I say? But sometimes. But you know, it's a good song, but it's just like you said, the hit, the instant That would hit be a that. good song. Right. Mm. So the because instant hit with your feet with certain song, you say, oh, like some song you hear once, you say, One, hit. That, that hit there, you have to make up that hit Yes. There. The other hit, they make it up by repetition. Mm -hmm. You understand? Marketing, Continue advertising, playing. continue yeah. playing it, grow up on you. Mm -hmm. You get to me, okay. I say. And it's hard to even say it because you have some people who might hear that song there too, mm -hmm. where you think it's just a good song mm -hmm. and say, yo, it's a hit that, you know. And then it come hit, but you never feel so, so. You know, you go, I just, yeah. the ears, you know, and um, time is what tell, you know, where, where you're going to really listen to somebody based on past experiences. So mm -hmm. if a man tell you 10 out of 10 time or 7 out of 10 time, say it's a hit, you're going to listen to him. If a man tell you, say, 3 out of 10 time is a hit and it hit only 3 times less than what? You get what I say? So if a man say, easy with the bag of numbers, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see you with the numbers them to her. Like, yeah. oh, it look like it. It was a seven out of ten. Percentage of what? Alright, just like if a producer make ten hits and a next producer make two hits, you are going to more listen to the producer. Mm. Where ten hits. You get what I'm mm. saying? Because clearly him have something yeah. go on this or yeah. So it's just like that. Mm. So who you think is next up? No, you think I'll be the... Carbon. Other than Carbon, <laughs> aside to Carbon, Carbon, because she's right. She <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that you that's it. <laughs> yeah. Who are the next? Leela. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She's been Leela. bubbling for a while. Yeah, man. Leela got to the thing to a different level. You know me, I said, I don't really see nobody else. Were so you familiar with Carbon? Because to me, well, I'm not, I guess I'm not into the reggae scene that much, Which but coffee, coffee kind of 
surprise me in a way when yeah. she come like with the toast like were you familiar with her long before us and you know like yeah man me did me did familiar with her from she come out with the ragamuffin mm. so me have that chewing up on a dub plate and thing and um yeah yeah so this this success that she's getting is really no surprise to mm, people no. in the reggae fraternity only us no 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 awful idiot <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> joke, like i'm joking <laughs> yeah, yeah okay so let's transition now into you now as your artist like is another yeah. expansion of your creativity like why 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 you wanted to make that transition into being an artist all right so you see when man goes up bomb now and transition into the reggae thing them have a style when them you play the song and you play the chapter two which is the rhythm version or the dub version mm. okay see mm-hmm. and more more time people want to chant upon them rhythm day. You get what I say, have your own lyrics like you, Rai, and you know, Sammy Dredd, and Dillinger, and them. Chant. Man. Yeah. Okay. Chanting mean like toasting them, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, MC vibe. Oh, like, I get it. You yeah, know, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, upon mm-hmm. the rhythm version, make mm-hmm. up a little vibe Fly, or song yeah, or whatever, see? Mm-hmm. So, Moda always want to do that, you get what I say, and people would have say, if I play the chapter two and I not really chant really or whatever, then I can say, sing a song or whatever, or, you know what I say? Yeah. So, you know, that kind of really inspire me to say, all right, take it on serious, car. back in my school days, I usually try write and think, but true, me not really like English. You know, me never really like to spend time for a rap. I don't like write story or composition oh. or, you know, me mm-hmm. I said, find it, I have to think too much. Okay. So now, me get the discipline. So you preferred it. math? Yeah, man. <laughs> but math, you have to work harder. No, math <laughs> easy, man. Math clicking. You know, you remember go 12 minus 9, 3, quick. Math hard. You understand? <laughs> so what you know? Um... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you're writing. You never really like yeah, writing. Yeah, so I never really like writing and thing. But now, as I said, the whole vibe with the chapter two, it kind of, you know, inspired me for one and do that. And then you now, stepping into production, mm. you get what I say? You always, you know, think of melodies, writing hooks, or just vibing or whatever. You get what I say? say so, yeah, you, you say you're having an EP. So, the EP is going to be um, production as the artist and producer artist though like that's um yeah we're gonna naturally produce some of the track them mm-hmm. which most of the track them kind of you know them out already and mm-hmm. thing and you know work with other producers same way and people are receptive to yarko the artist like them yeah so far you know yeah. i forgive thanks i can't really complain you know mm-hmm. you no know, people are respond to already now I like it, man. Them mm. said I'm ready now. <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as a selector, as a DJ, yeah. don't you think it's a little unfair like that you are an artist now and then you're going to play yeah. your own song you ever? Yeah, like, oh, well, you know, play a tune. Just a little play a tune more than others. <laughs> really, really, we never use you're the no, first one from the dub. No, <laughs> really man, we never it. use no curate, you know, so <laughs> the thing real and authentic, is it me? Yeah. So, I'm not going to really give my tune more strength than any other tune. It's going to be in the playlist like every other song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you're not going to hear me personally. I'm going to wheel it 55 times. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted that too but, because DJ who, who made the transition into artists, yeah. you know, let me say, it's kind of unfair. Uh, like, not yeah. necessarily just, you know, ex, you know, expanding your talent, you mm. know, and, you know, being yourself, you know. Mm-hmm. Um... And who knows, you know, might fully transition in time to see me, you know. But right now, the music need me mm. as a DJ. Mm. You get so what I said? Because where, who is, where's the other DJ like me? Can't really name none of that. Big up Lion Shad and big up Gary Selassie scene. But we want some more younger DJ same way. You know, as the thing I go. Oh, DJ as a as the selector. That means. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. As a selector. Yeah. No nah, man, me not cocky, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because when I say DJ, me say as the artist. No, no, say, oh. no, man. As the DJ, we mm-hmm. just start reality and truth, man. Mm-hmm. You get what I say? So, as me say, it need me right now mm-hmm. in relation to you know being the DJ where I push that. Mm-hmm. 
Which version of you you like? The artist, the selector, the producer, which which one you prefer? All of me. <laughs> <laughs> which which one you have the most fun doing? All right. I'm still fresh as an artist, see? Mm. So I'm gonna rehearse with a band yet, I'm gonna perform with a band yet. Mm. You know, which me I look forward to. Mm-hmm. You get what I say? But right now, me, 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 me I enjoy writing songs and mm-hmm. coming up with songs. Mm-hmm. That's where my energy is right now, mostly, I find. Uh, la- last question. Mm-hmm. You mentioned, you mentioned the, the close association with Protege. Mm-hmm. How did it feel when you never get the Grammy? <laughs> Um, well, we're not too surprised because we know the politics behind, you know, the Grammys and everything. But mm. it's still a blessing to see him get nominated, you know, may I say, and the acknowledgement of the work, same way. So, you know, it's, it's just a matter of time. All right. Are you, but you must, <laughs> are you must feel good within yourself knowing that you had a, a great helping hand in, in his career from up to yeah, this point. Well, you know, even if I didn't have, you know, any great contribution or whatever I'm still would happy but naturally if you're a part of something it gives a different joy and a different you know feeling so yeah it was a blessing man yeah mm. you yeah. wanted to win though like was it something like oh you yeah, mean oh. <laughs> they're not winning we say I man that you know nomination its own it's nomination its own is a winning in itself yeah. naturally you know from where i come from and to where the thing they know mm-hmm. but any race you say i got giant is most first place mm, okay yeah go for mm. you get what i say you could have said like more like a response like, you know everybody run them on a race and, you know, like the rest are <laughs> the rest <laughs> are <laughs> no, well, you know everything <laughs> uh, as me say from is a race you got giant that oh, is wow, a race yeah. music mm. is not a race but grammys is a race mm. you get what i mean i say in the sense of somebody are gonna win Mm-hmm. But when we do music now for the people, it's not a competition, it's a mission. Mm. Mm. You understand? Yeah. It is right. Yeah. So what can we expect in the, the year? Because I read that you want to release your EP in 2020. Yeah. But what else can we expect um, before? Title 2020. Thank you. <laughs> is, right. smart. is it like 20 songs? 20, like no, what? man, you oh. can't go so much song. An EP, oh. you know. Mm. Mm. And no. even album, that too much. No. Right now, ever. Right. You see me? But, um... I go Costa Rica at the end of the month, you know, where I will set up a tour right now for Cali. Mm-hmm. And, um, as a DJ, as a selector? Yeah, as a mm-hmm. DJ, where well, you know, where I go do your little thing here and there. And, well, yeah, I and that. Sell mm. but you're, yeah, you're man, no, man. We, we, we're not eat that, you know. Oh. We, know <laughs> <laughs> we know what you mean, you get Thank me? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, and probably I release one more song for the year. Mm. Probably. Mm. I say like, do you, you you purposely frame yourself to say you just make weed chill vibe song or is just no just inspiration, oh, okay. just different song, different vibe inspiration. Okay, nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, I give thanks for passing through. Give thanks for the second high, second and high that he gave us. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Uh, me good. surprised. Yeah. Uh, me me can smoke too. Come never see nobody has smoked pony yet. So. No, you're what? the first. first you're one? the very first ah, guest who smoked during that episode. So you make history, yes, sir. The link, the link stink, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Which is right. Mm. First, first we get my eyes since like college. Yeah. So that's our new first. Yeah. Oh, and promote, promote the new, the new mixtape that you yeah, have. Yeah. So we have a yeah. new thing now named Redeem Salute. Yeah. Which is um. You know, as the name suggests, you know, I highlight certain rhythms in Jamaica, mm-hmm. seeing cause we have a unique culture with regards to the rhythm culture as well, with, you know, more than one artist being mm-hmm. on the same rhythm and thing. So I'm going to bam now and just put some dub plate on some of the biggest rhythm them we will have in the reggae music. You feel like that's dying? You know, what? Like rhythm. the rhythm culture. It seemed like it kind of ah. tapered off. Like not really, you know, you just want to find, I just want to drop a next big rhythm, you know? Mm. Fuck. <laughs> Blood clap, but you're dead, man. <laughs> oh, you're alive with it. <laughs> I mean, I even get to see if the blood clap. <laughs> Sorry, Hardcore. Sorry. Yeah. You never see, oh, you were yeah, focusing see, on man. us. You're yeah. being a good guest, thank you. I'm dead. You. <laughs> I ended <Yeah>. high. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're saying rhythm culture, you think? Yeah, yeah, so. Um, as I said, no, I just want to find a next big rhythm. People still are drop rhythm, but I guess 
you know the rhythm them not have as much big song on it. Mm. You get to me, I say you might just have two or three big songs if you're lucky. Mm. Where I get heavy rotation, you know, but it dead them man, it can dead. Tell people that I'm going for your social media. Yeah, so you know a yardcore seeing Y A A D C O R E Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. No use it as much, but it's I am yardcore same way. Um SoundCloud. Email. Yeah, SoundCloud slash yardcore, you know, yardcore dot com. Um yard time at gmail for bookings. Flash it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Any special um features for the EP? Can you know say link them to all artists? You know, um, so them we don't right. have no we don't have no special feature yet, but we are work on it. Yeah. Yeah. Give thanks again, Yard. Yeah, man, love man, you don't know. Which is right. Up Give thanks for making history. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what you know? Yeah. It is right. Yeah. Like the jealous rubber, hotter than a pepper, no. What? Them say a long time now. Them are request me for a beat. The people want to move them feet and have a good time, no.